Good evening. We have breaking news in the three-year-old month, uh, three-month mystery surrounding a missing girl. The Barron County Sheriff says that 13-year-old Jamie Kloss has been found alive in northwestern Wisconsin. WCCO's Liz Collin is in the newsroom right now with breaking developments, and I know information is pretty limited right now, right, Liz? Yeah, you guys, we uh, received a press release just a short while ago from Chris Fitzgerald. He is the Barron County Sheriff who has been very active and uh, been a face of this investigation since the very, very beginning on October 15th. And I want to read from you what it, it says. On Thursday evening, the Barron County Sheriff's Department was notified by the Douglas County, Wisconsin Sheriff's Department that they had located Jamie Kloss alive. Shortly after this, a suspect was taken into custody in regards to this case. We do not have any other details at this time as this is a very fluid an active investigation. They say they will not be answering any questions or taking calls on this case tonight. They are planning a press briefing for 10 a.m. at the Sheriff's Department in Barron, and they are receiving support, they say, from the FBI and the Wisconsin DCI agents as this investigation continues. They go on to thank the uh, Douglas County Sheriff's Department and other agencies who have assisted in this case. Uh, Sheriff Fitzgerald saying that from the very beginning, they promised to bring Jamie home. And tonight, he says, we get to fulfill that promise. From the bottom of my heart, he says, thank you. This is some video from that crime scene. You'll remember Denise Kloss and James Kloss. Uh, the, the parents uh, were found dead on the morning of October 15th. And Jamie, the 13, their 13-year-old daughter, has not been seen since. Now, this is, of course, a very small rural area, a small town in northwest Wisconsin, where really everyone does uh, know everyone. Our uh, reporters uh, have been... Uh, in and out of that, that town for the last three months now. And just to, to give folks some perspective, we were planning a, a press conference to attend a press conference on Tuesday morning, and that would have marked the three-month uh, date in this case, three months since Jamie Kloss had been missing. The sheriff had been planning a press briefing for that day, and there had been some chatter online earlier on Facebook today where there was a search going on in another county in Wisconsin that was uh, quickly put up by some of these... Um, some of these groups we've been seeing that have been following this case closely on Facebook, and those posts were quickly taken down after uh, Sheriff Fitzgerald earlier tweeted today that Jamie Kloss, in fact, had not been found. This is all happening about 4 o'clock earlier today, and that this search um, was not related uh, to the Jamie Kloss case. And then just uh, after 8 o'clock tonight, another tweet from the sheriff, just remarkable, saying that, in fact, Jamie Kloss is alive and she had been located in Douglas County. Douglas County is about an hour and 20 minutes uh, from Barron, um, and we do have a, a crew headed uh, to Barron at this point, and we're obviously working our uh, connections in Douglas County as well to see how this all uh, unfolded. A lot more to learn on this, uh, you guys, but really some remarkable uh, developments tonight. It, it really is, because, I mean, when this happened, I mean, that dispatcher got a phone call, 911 call, there was nobody there, tried to call back, and she just got Denise Clausen's uh, a voicemail. So the police were dispatched there very quickly within that call and they couldn't find anything. I think they said it was in a matter of minutes before they got dispatched to the home. That's right, Amelia. Law enforcement told us that they believe uh, whoever was responsible for the killings of, of Denise and James Kloss perhaps was only uh, in that house and perhaps not even in the house at all, perhaps in the doorway just for three or four minutes. You'll remember uh, for a couple days after their murders, we saw um, investigators carry um, potential pieces of evidence in and out of that house. And in fact, I'd um, been to Madison where the crime lab is there, uh, where they were actually testing um, different pieces of, of evidence. And they said they had dozens upon dozens, but it seemed like they were really just not getting anywhere. They had very little evidence um, from, from that scene. And, and that includes um, any sort of uh, weapons um, or anything that was left behind. Yeah. All, right. All right, Liz, Let's thank you. Uh, thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll uh, have the very latest on Jamie Kloss, who once again has been found in Douglas County in northwestern Wisconsin, found alive this evening, and we will have the very latest for you tonight at 10.